Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization V as Korea. So today we'll probably have to focus a bit more on the growth of our capital because um, we should get quite a few great people that we want to pop as tile improvements, but we just don't have the people who would work these tiles. And I want to avoid uh, like unlocking the specialist slots. I really want to go as greedy as possible. So high priority will of course be on Angkor Wat so that we get the free Mandir and with that uh, uh, all the extra growth. And then I'll, oh, come on, let's get back to the tech tree. Uh, then I'll probably go engineering. We can already plan the research. Engineering in theology so that we can get uh, the aquaduct. I think I'll pass up on the Great Wall. Uh, I would like to get Great Wall for the free general, but I think I can't afford it to waste the production on a wonder that uh, is not a must-have. Uh, theology, again, there are some wonders I wouldn't mind having Hagia Sophia for the extra great profit, but we'll see if we can squeeze that in or not. Uh, after theology, that's a good question, actually. What do we do after theology? Um, I want to go astronomy, so that we get uh, Chichenitsa, of course. We definitely need... The extra duration of golden ages. Now we could go maybe metal casting after that. A stable doesn't give us anything. Uh, maybe guilds and then astronomy. Yeah, I think this is... Uh, the best option we try to get the customs house East India Company mm. Extra trade route down here extra food from fishing boats all of that will be useful So this is the research and uh, I forgot one quite important thing in the previous episode. We researched. What is that fishing? Yeah, fishing so that uh, our pathfinder can now embark and we can explore so that's what we're gonna do today as well. Uh, we can already go south and finally meet uh, Rome. As for our production, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, we'll start with the National Monument to speed up the great people. After National Monument, um, I think I have to go Oxford School of University and Watermill because Watermill is extra food. Also, Lighthouse is extra food. Uh, it's the same problem. I just need to build everything and uh, I really can't even decide where to start. Um, I need the great scientist from Oxford. Well, let's just build one building at a time. I'm not going to queue up more. And uh, we always queue up only one and think about how exactly we're going to progress. Also, if we could buy Jade from someone, no one is selling Jade. That would be great. We want to have the Love the King Bay, of course. Fine, let's end the turn. Oh, and there is also Forge coming. Uh, that will that would be great. Okay, can we finally meet a Rome there? Um, I think I'm gonna keep one copy of Wales. Do you have a writing? You don't. Uh, okay, and they are... Let's see. I think there'll be some wars between Rome and uh, uh, Persia. They are pretty close. But that's good for us because it's gonna slow down both of our neighbors. Um, where do we go next? I think we go this way. And we reveal the Aztec city so that we have another city to trade with. We also have another trade route that we want to get. Um, okay, which way? It's probably the best way. Just go on land and then embark. Next. Religion founded. That's fine. Part and build. Whatever. Iron working. And production again. How much money are we making? 35 gold per turn. We need to get more. We have to be able to speed up all the production. So, forge. How important is 
forge right now. Maybe I'll actually go watermill next because that's food and production. Then we can squeeze in one more building before we start work working on the Angkor Wat. Um, next. If I had the money, I would buy this tile and force my board to grow towards the iron because that would uh, secure a large area on the island. Make those tiles not viable for cities. But I can't even afford to spend like 100 gold on an extra tile. And our golden age ended. So we get the currency in four now. But it slowed down everything here as well. Um, so it's gonna be Oxford or the lighthouse. We are working to. C tiles. This would make them what? 4211? Right, six turns, and I would be delaying Oxford. Now we need that Oxford build. Okay, next. And I say this once again I'm going as greedy as possible here. Uh, so sometimes my decisions may seem suboptimal, but I'm really trushing, uh, trying to uh, push uh, the research as hard as possible, and I'm just hoping that we'll somehow be able to keep up production-wise. Uh, this definitely could bite me in the ass very hard, but yeah, I want to try. Hey, there is another guy. What do you have? You have Jade, buddy. I want your jade is it worth it for this much money it gives us extra growth so it probably is worth it even though it's gonna be pretty expensive what about a trade for whales i could do that it's gonna make this cheaper for i still have to pay six gold uh yeah i think i will take it is it jade that we need it is I just wanted to make sure I'm not buying a resource that we don't need. Six. Propose. Mm. I hope I'll be able to disembark somewhere around here to actually get vision on the city. There is the extra growth. I, I can't move there. Let's wait a turn. Next. And the Angkor Wat will be pretty important this time. There is currency. Uh, yeah. You won't be able to see the city. Damn it. Next. Terracotta army, whatever. There is Oxford with a great merchant and artist. I mean, was that merchant, really? Merchant, artist, and... Uh, shouldn't it be scientist as well? Wait, Oxford. Great scientist appears near the city. Great scientist didn't appear near the city. Uh, I think... May have a bug here. Merchant. Okay, so this was a natural merchant and natural artist because it reset the timers. So we just didn't get a scientist? Wait. Oh, there is a scientist. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. So what do we pop where? Scientist here. Artist 
here. Are we not gonna find anything? Uh, in this area, so let's try the other side. And now about, about the merchant. I'm honestly thinking about sending him away, trying to find the city-state, and just get some cash. Uh, yeah, we don't want to work that, we want to work... Shall wait, we do want to work this. Thirteen turns, eleven turns. I think I can't afford to work both the merchant slots. We got the merchant. We can delay the next one and send this guy up a town here. The golden age points, but the next golden age it's gonna take forever. Okay, Oxford. Now we want Angkor Wat. 11 turns is not bad. That is actually pretty fast. When do we get the next great person? Writer in 19. Maybe you'll, you'll be able to speed it up when we... Chop down the forest, good. So it's down to nine. And we sell the iron. Who needs iron? I want to sell it to Monty. I don't... Actually, we can maybe sell it to Monty. Uh, he was fighting... I think Pakal. And Pakal is our wonder spammer. He got library. Lighthouse. Pyramids. Mausoleum. Roman Forum. Dude. Uh, okay, let's... Sell some iron to Monty if he's willing to pay well. And hopefully he'll use the iron against Pakal. Not against us. Uh, we should be able to do this one iron at a time. And get... No. Won't be willing to pay two gold per turn again. Let's try... Let's try Inca. Again for two gold per turn. What are you doing here? Well, I don't want ink in a city on our island. Get the hell out of here, dude. Okay, so we are not gonna find anything here. Hmm. I really wanted to reveal the city. Well, let's try to go this way, and we'll try to find at least one city-state. Next. There is engineering, so that's another building that we want to build as soon as possible. Uh, yeah, construct a town. That should be a pretty damn good tile. Five food, two production, four gold. I'll take that. How much money do we have? 282. Making 30 gold per turn, so it's 180. I'm gonna pay for University of Sankor. Next. Now, when the Rome has a scouting unit on the, our island, actually two units. This might not be scouts. This could be invasion army. Ah, just two units. Um, he may want to settle here. We don't want Rome on our island. Yeah, except embassy. Sure.
Are they really on the same island? They might be. That would be great because they would really hate each other. How is Rome doing? Falling behind 15 tags compared to. Where is Darius? Compared to 14 tags. Actually, he's ahead of him. Yeah, they are on the same island. Good. Legions against Immortals. That's gonna be an interesting war. Okay, one turn, please. I hope we don't lose Angkor Wat. It's so important that we get that. There is the settler. And Rome, that was fast. Can I do anything about this? Oh, he's just gonna settle right here. You get border friction and we are in trouble. Okay, university next. Once we get the money, I'll pay for it. And then we'll probably stop building wonders. And just get all the normal buildings. Let's just forget about Hagia Sophia. Then there are no wonders until astronomy. There's Napolis. I'm gonna remove the city later, and then we will cover the whole island, but for now I really can't do anything. Oh, uh, which way do we go? Let's try this way. Uh, we are still growing, so are we gonna work now? How are we doing on scientists? 19 10 turns to grow. 13 10 turns to grow. Great, that's fine. How much money? 134 missing still. Oh, hello, Venice. And there is Eldorado and the Riga. You are a maritime city state. Mm, can we get an alliance? One alliance with the maritime city state would be nice. Also, we have to open a new social policy tree. We're really thinking about going filthy for the scaling food. And monasteries also give food and science exactly what we want to get. But I also want to get artistry opener for the great people uh, generation boost. Food from castles. What's the finisher? Great artists. This would allow us to buy fade by golden ages. Because I want to finish a rationalism. I want to get the complete tree, of course, for science victory. We could go. Hmm, that's a good question. I'll probably finish filthy. Just get opener for artistry and finish rationalism. Okay, let's. Start here. Wait by the monastery right away. Okay, one turn shaved off of that growth. Also, uh, that extra city defense might be relevant, or city strength. 
Next. Hmm. Let's set this guy to auto explore now. Go. This still no. There are no more viable locations on our island, at least. Explore. What is this? Buckle entered medieval era. Good for him. What's the best trade route? Five to this is the best we can get right now. Yeah, how much money do we still need? Twenty nine more gold. We should be able to pay next turn. And can we get a better deal for dice? 215. I don't want to feed. Oh, he already has dice. Never mind. I still don't want to feed him luxuries. He will probably be the strongest competitor for us. Uh, come on, people. There has to be someone who's willing to pay more. Maybe not. Rome? Rome is gonna hate us. We have. We don't have border friction yet. Interesting. Okay, then. Is it even worth it selling the luxury for three gold per turn? Let's wait a turn. Maybe we get something better next turn. It's unlikely, but who knows? Yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna sell it to him. I don't want to fight him, so let's make the deal. I know that I could pay for the university now, but I'm still thinking if it's worth it. Investing, investing 600 gold to speed up the production by probably four turns. If we pay... Uh, for school of university, there will be two turns saved, 490. Then we would save two turns on Forge for another 200. And then we still have like 200 gold that we can invest into the Aqueduct and save three turns. So for the same price, we then can save like seven turns on other buildings. But it's better to just finish the university like this and invest into other buildings. Let's check if anybody went tradition. And that's us. His progress, his authority. Fine, let's just finish the university without investing into it. Uh, wait. Great profit. That's what we want. Okay, there is a writer. May God forbid the deed. Eleven turns. Still eleven turns. Okay, fine. Merchant in forty eight, scientist in four. Who 
so pull it out with sword. Probably also have to get a walls and castle at some point. <clears throat> yes. We are completely defenseless and a very tempting target. Embassy, sure. Now we can maybe try to get a trade route with the Rome, increase the chance you declare. There is the scientist. Yeah, I'll take embassy. We have embassy with everyone. Two, four, six. We are missing someone. Two, four. We don't have an embassy with the Inca. Is it possible? He still doesn't have writing. Is that even possible? Yeah, I'll just wait for him to get writing. Where do we pop the scientist here? What's next? Musician in nine. And let's actually wait with the scientist for the University of Sankor. I should have just skipped the university this time. There is probably no one who can steal it from us. Could have just built it later. Well, too late to change that. We are one turn away from completion. If the science, when we expand great person, bonus skills with era, free mosque. Uh, let me check a mosque. I still don't remember these religious buildings. How is it like this? Uh, boost religious pressure and 20% culture during gold. Yeah, that's a pretty damn good bonus. The 20% during golden ages. Where do we start? We started with Aquaduct. After Aquaduct. We build a forge. Then we build a lighthouse. And then we finally build school of... Actually, philosophy is one, just one turn. Uh, in that case, let's just... Get that first. Four turns to grow. Next. How long for the profit? Seven turns. Great Wall is gone. I don't have to think about that. Soldemon's Marble. Who is selling marble? No one. Rome. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Uh. We all need a circus to just re-roll the luxury. Where is Circus, by the way? Here. Okay, we'll get it soon. So that will be a wheel of the King Day for a while. The merchants and the traders have come. 
Their prophets are preordained. Also need or need want guilds. Okay, it's still eleven. I think I'm gonna switch from that market to the forge. We need engineers a lot more than merchants. Thirty-eight saves us two turns. Do you see that? 11 turns when we are working in the forge. And 10 turns when we are working in the market. Where is the difference? Why is the engineer more hungry? <clears throat> in that case, I think I'm just going to work the market. Because there are only two turns difference on the engineer, it's not such a big deal. I will I'm willing to delay the engineer by two turns in exchange for uh one turn faster growth. There is a musician. Okay, two turns away from the social policy. Next turn we get uh, we get the profit. And I think actually with the profit we get the social policy as well next turn. We definitely get the social policy next turn. Um what was that? Trade. Seventeen. Come on. There has to be a better deal. You also have whales. Really? Everyone has whales? Let's trade with Rome. I really want to get as many trades as possible with him. Decrease the chance that he'd attack us. Consentio. Next, let's keep an eye on the growth when we finish the lighthouse. That's nine. It's gonna be eight or seven. Plus two food probably won't change anything. Yep. Lighthouse. How much money do we have? 300. Okay, decisions. You could go to Scrivener's office, get the emissary, and at least become friendly with the city-state. This would also allow us to work on uh, a great diplomat. Speed up writers. We have we have barracks, we have forge. This would be for production. Fine, let's get for production. And we're gonna enhance our religion. Hello. Get physics. Let's see what's left. Scholarship is still available. It's so greedy going even for more science when we already are uh, making way too much. Strongly considering asceticism, just speed up the growth as much as possible. Or diligence. I'll 
maybe I'll make a cut here and think about this a bit more off camera. I said that I would be as greedy as possible in this let's play. But the scholarship just sounds like way too much. But on the other hand, we will be taking this away from AIs and in the long run, the long run that helps a lot. Whatever, I said I'd be greedy. <clears throat> Golden Age points, great person points, per turn for all great people, 15% great person right during Golden Ages. Hmm, that's one option, and the other one... That's the cheaper profits, right? But you don't care about cheap cheap profits uh, this time. I won't be spreading my religion. Um, reforming a religion for one city challenge is not worth it. At least I think it's not worth it. Yeah, it will have to be iconography. Bit like instant culture and holy city ten faith. It's like fifteen percent boost. Two golden age points and gold in holy city for every foreign cities following this religion. No, we are not spreading religion. Yeah, iconography is the best option. Enhance. As for the social policy, uh, you'll be constructing guilds soon. Maybe artistry opener is a good thing, but you also want to build a castle and an armory. This also gives food from those buildings. Now ah, we need more great people. To the open there, and then we return to filthy. How long? 54 times, that's a long time. Why can't we get Circus? What are we missing? Oh, we are missing Arena, yep. Okay, I think this will be all for today's episode. As usual, I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.